In this demonstration, we'll walk through how to add a 3PAR storage system to the OneView appliance to be managed. So we've already logged into our OneView appliance. We'll go to the main menu, and then we'll click on Storage Systems. On the Storage Systems page, we'll click Add Storage System, and then we'll be prompted to add the IP address as well as the username and password um, for a user that at least has uh, edit privileges on the storage system. So the IP address that we we'll use is 172.18.11.11. We'll use our DCS username and password, and then we'll go out and connect to that storage system. So now we've connected to the storage system. It'll prompt us to select the domain. We have a couple different domains. We'll do our test domain for the purposes of the demonstration. And then we can add the storage pools that are on the 3 par storage system. So these are, even though it says storage pools here, these are the CPGs that have been created on the storage system. So we can use control to select multiple. We'll select the ones that we want to and then click add. And if we scroll down, we see the storage system ports that are used by the storage system. We don't want to change any of this information for the demonstration. We'll just click add to go add the storage system to the OneView appliance. So it doesn't take that long to add the storage system itself. To view the storage pools that we added with the storage system, we can go to the main menu and then click storage pools. And here we have our two CPGs that we imported with the storage system itself. Now to manage the storage or to use it, the first thing we can do is to create a volume template. So from the main menu, we'll go to volume templates. And then on this page, we'll click the create volume template button. Here we can name the template, so we'll just do demo template. The storage pools or the CPG that we want the, the template to be a part of, and then as well as the snapshot, snapshot storage pool, as if you were creating a template on the 3PAR itself. The capacity, say if we wanted this to be uh, an ESXi boot volume, we could leave this here at 10 gigabytes. And then select thin as the provisioning, and then this is a, a private volume template. So we'll click create to use that template. So now if we wanted to actually create a volume, we could go back to the main menu, click Volumes. On the Volumes page, we'll click Create Volume. And then you'll notice here we have a volume template option in the volume field. So we can click the, the search menu, select our demo template, and you'll see here that it automatically selects the storage pools of the CPGs that were assigned in the template. The capacity is 10 gigabits or 10 gigabytes. We can change that if we wanted to. And then we just have to name the volume and click Create. And it's simple as that to create a volume on the storage system from the OneView appliance.